my fellow hollows and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 with me, Mr. Kragnack. We are here in the Undead Crypt, back near the beginning where we lit up all these statues again. And, like I said, we're going to go through this fog gate first and just see what's past it. And then we're going to go check out the other one. Let me just check my equipment again real quick. Uh, yeah, it looks like everything's all set. And I don't need to change anything. Alright, I didn't think this one would be a boss, but, you know, it was nice to check. Try right. Okay, yeah. So this just leads to where we've been before, so we can skip that. And just keep going right along this way towards the boss. Are we standing above one of these fires? Or is it those that I'm hearing? Because I hear a fire, but I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from. Should we use this summon sign? Nah. We will be just fine. At least that's what I tell myself. What's going on in here? Triclops snake troaches? Ooh, what did that do? I'm not sure what that did, but we found a bell. Hollow head, by the way, attacking required head. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll rate that up. I don't know what I did, though. That's the problem. Alright, I'll go ahead and try and lure it out, I guess. Man, how close do I have to get for the crossbow to lock on? Jesus. Crap, I forgot they had that spell. It's been a little uh, bit, about a day since I've played, so there are some things that I've forgotten. Ow. God damn, that hurts. Let's go ahead and use warmth real quick. It is a little slow to heal, but you know what? It's free healing, so why not get my shield back out? Something I've noticed that I like about Dark Souls 2 is the more hurt you are, like, the more slumped your posture becomes, so you can physically see, like, your character getting more and more tired and worn out. It's a nice touch. Alright, there we go. Full health. No, uh, that's the one. Are you weak versus lightning? How about magic? Uh, lightning it is. Oh man, that would have killed me. Oh man. Was Warmth healing him as well as me? Lady of White Hood, okay. We didn't get the White Hood before, we've gotten the Black Gear, so let's check out the White Hood. Hood of a Lady of Pyromancer. Lady of Apostles and their conceit occupied the Undead Crypt and misused death. They, This invoked the ire of Finito, who branded them as transgressors. Alright. Doesn't really have any good uh, defenses. That's probably just something in case you can't wear anything else. I like how long Warmth lasts, by the way. That's a nice, long spell. I guess you could drop that in the middle of a fight. That's really the easiest way for me to handle those guys, is just finish them off in one hit. Alright, I need... I need you to not try and fight me out in the open, because I'm going to die if I do that. Come on, get back here in one of these like crowded little areas where it's hard for you to get away. I'll grab this. A faint stone. Alright. Come here, dude. Don't run away. Oh, come on. Oh, I did not want to use my, uh, my Cestus there. Yeah, see, he is. He's, like, waiting for me. Come on. Are these guys all pyromancers? All these floaty guys? Come on. Alright, fine. I'll just fucking shoot you. Uh, 
Whatever. I got range too, asshole. There we go. That'll do that. Now, it felt like some spawned behind me last time, but it doesn't seem like they're doing that this time. Uh-oh. I wasn't expecting him to come up that fast. Oh, man. Crap, 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 crap. Okay, let me see if I can't, like, back up and have at least one of them back off. Because I want to kind of... I want to try and reserve, or... Like, not use up all of my healing items before the boss fight, you know? God damn, how far do these guys chase you? Ow. Alright, fuck it. This is the easiest way for me to kill this guy. Ah, ah, you chased me this far. You fucking... You fucking stay. He's not about to chase me all the way out of this damn hall just to return to his buddies. Alright, so let's be a little smarter about this next one and try and draw him out. Chunk. Yeah, that's definitely the way to do it. Just shoot one of them. And you're dead. I wonder if his buddies over there even care them just slaughtering their friends willy-nilly. Or if they're just like, Oh, yeah, it's part of the job. Yeah, I signed off it in the contract. I would give my life for my lord. I wouldn't. I would be an awful knight. Alright, there we go. There we go. That went much smoother than I had imagined it going. Let's keep going a little bit. I keep hearing, like, summon signs being dropped. At least that's what it sounds like to me. Alright, come on, just a few more, you fuckers. Oh, no, not these guys again. Yeah, these guys ain't, uh, ain't gonna give up their post for nothing. Come on. Oh, man, they really don't give it up for anything. Not even when their buddy's getting killed, like, ten feet away from them. Alright, come on. There we go. And time for you. Alright, that's all of them. Help me. Uh, I don't know. Okay, now is this an NPC? This looks like an NPC summon sign. Grave Warden Agdane. God damn, look at the sword he's got. That thing is fucking huge. It looks like a Gladius, only like way beefed up in size. We're gonna summon him in. Grave Warden Ogdane. God damn, that is a cool sword. I want that. I really want that. Now, this entire place, like, I don't know what it is about it, but it screams like Roman architecture to me. Not to mention this guy's outfit and the beefed up Gladius he has. Like, the developers definitely took a lot of notes from Roman architecture when they built the uh, Undead Crypt. Let me just check what I've got real quick. Uh, guard against poison. I've got HP healing items. I've got the ability to do toxic damage. Let's go ahead and swap out this ring for... Ring of Blades plus one... Dark Quartz Ring? Oh, God, I don't know, guys. I really don't know, because I don't know what I'm walking into. Uh, more defense is always nice. But... I think we're just going to go with uh, Ring of Blades. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's do this. Ooh. Oh, is this another great old one? 
We found the fourth great old one. Who is this? God, he has cool armor. Doesn't he? Are you human? Uh-oh. He's got the same fighting style as I do. A big-ass hammer. Velstadt the Royal Aegis. God, I don't even want to see how much uh, stamina that move. Yeah, see? Alright, come on. Okay, he doesn't have a whole lot of defense, it looks like. At least I'm taking up a ton of it. God damn. I want that ability that the Grave Warden just used. That was cool. Not to mention that Grave Warden is taking a... He's taking a beating. He don't give a fuck. He is Honey Badger. Did he just fucking taunt him? Go Ogden. God damn, dude. Uh-oh. What the fuck is he doing? I'm gonna back off. Did he just, like... Did he cast a spell on himself to buff him? Oh shit, I missed. Shit, I missed again. Oh god. Okay, the Grave Warden here is like the first NPC that's been like legitimately helpful. God damn, I cannot hit this guy. There we go. Okay, it looks like he's taking less damage from me now because I'm doing my two-handed heavy attack. Yeah, I'm doing around... Oh shit. All right, come on. I will take this moment to heal. Ah, fuck. Heal up again. I'm glad I healed. That probably would have killed me. Shit. Ah, fuck. I need one more hit. Yeah, there we go. Suck it, bitch. Victory achieved. Soul of Velstadt. Let's just check real quick, because that seemed like another of the great old one souls. Was it? Oh, no, that's that's a different type of soul. Sh soul of the Velstadt, defender of the king inside the undead crypt of the Velstadt. Is Velstadt like a, like a German word for something? I, I don't know what that is. Velstadt was always at the king's side as if he were his lord's own shadow. After the king retired to the undead crypt, Velstadt followed, never to return. All right. He was an interesting enemy. Oh, what the fuck are you? Is this the king? Is he gonna attack? He's not swinging. Man, what is this area? I don't know what's going on with him, but... What is this? King's ring. Oh god. What's... What's up with... This guy is definitely King Vendrick. Just... I mean, Velshot was right there guarding him. But... King Vendrick has long since gone hollow. Let's check out the King's ring. A powerful soul is like a curse, and Vendrick, king of Drang Lake, used a powerful soul to keep the curse at bay. King Vendrick sought greater souls and made the giant's strength his own, but even still the curse overcame him. Wear this ring to open the king's gate. Okay, there are a lot of bloodstains here, so they obviously attacked him. But I'm kind of hesitant to attack him. I mean, I kind of feel sad for him. I mean, he doesn't know what's going on. That is a sweet sword, though. But when it says he took the giant strength for his own, maybe that's why he's so goddamn big. Wow. Man. I'm sorry, I just I can't get enough of how cool he is. And this music is like... It fits perfectly. Oh, it's the Emerald Herald. Hey there. This ring is the symbol of the king. Use it to gain passage through the king's gate. 
and venture to the far east. Hmm. Bearer of the curse. If you are to be the next monarch, then one day you will walk those grounds without really knowing why. Now, we've heard that sentence before without really knowing why from the old lady in the very beginning of the game. Okay, she doesn't have anything else to say, I think. No, she's out. Alright. I... I don't think I'm going to kill the king yet. If I have to kill him at some point, I'll come back for him, but as is, I'm going to leave him be. Also, Grave Warden Ogdane, if anybody, you know, is, like, hesitant to summon in the NPCs in this game, summon him of all the NPCs. I mean, you saw that. God damn. He can take a beating. And he didn't even fucking use a shield. He was just like, come on. Hit me, bro. Hit me. Alright. Well, we've got... Uh, we've got a number of places that we can enter now. We've got the King's Ring to open up the King's Gate. And we've found multiple King's Gates. We found the one in the Shaded Woods. There was the one all the way back in the, uh, the fortress. I can't even remember the name of it. It's been so long since we've been there. Uh, I feel like... Oh yeah, there was one more in Drawing Lake Castle. We've found three King's Gates. Now, in addition to those, we also have the key to the Embedded that we, uh... We still need to go, quote unquote, uh, used to unlock that cage. Let's see if Ogdane. Ogdane isn't here anymore. Where'd Ogdane go? I wanted to, uh, wanted to chat with him. I wonder where he went. Damn, I actually liked him. Also, um, the easiest way I've found to fight the three casters in this room. Run forward up to here and just take him out from right to left uh, with a ranged weapon, and it's super easy. I got hit, like, once because I was being stupid and tried to shoot him uh, an extra time than I should have. I, I just, I love the feeling of the undead crypt. They just, they really nailed the, uh, the atmosphere in this place. So I think we're going to go use the key to the embedded first. So let's see if I can't remember how to get there. Strong Lake Castle. Central Castle Drong Lake, I think. And we had to take the... I think we had to take the elevator all the way up to the top. If it wasn't that, it was that door right next to the elevator. If I'm remembering things correctly. Pretty sure we had to come down this way, and... Yeah, that's the Looking Glass Knight area down that way. I'm pretty sure we had to go up. Almost positive. I never actually looked at the crest on this, did I? Looks like two dragons holding some kind of emblem. I'm not really sure what's going on there. This is a really big elevator. It seems like FromSoft has... They have a thing for really tall elevators, don't they? Uh, ah, yep, I was right. Oh god, the sounds this guy makes. I forgot. Fuck me, he's creepy. I'll just swap it out for this. Now, where is that key? Is that it? That's the red iron twin blade. Oh, we didn't check that out, or read about it, actually, in that, or for that matter. Let's, uh, let's look at that real quick. I completely forgot about it. Ignore the, uh, the writhing guy in the background. A twin blade with heavy blades on each end, more suited to smashing foes than slashing them, requires a great deal of muscle to wield artfully. The twin blade closely imitates the design of a foreign-made weapon that has blades affixed to both ends of its hilt. Requires 20 dex, 26 strength. And we're just gonna look at that real quick. Let, uh, we get the examine sign out of the way. It... It looks like two giant, like, butcher's knives to me. I like how it's, like, rusted and pitted. That looks cool. Now, where's the key? Uh, there it is. Requires 20 decks. I don't think it... Oh, that is a cool sword, man. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to do, like, a dex build with one of those soul vessels just so I can use this damn thing. All right. 
Use key to the embedded, yes. Ah. Oh. That was messed up. Did that use up the key? Oh, I think it did. Oh, man. You can't keep it? I wanted to keep that. That was the coolest sword I've seen yet. What's this say? Rear head there for Triton. Ugh. Oh, what? Where are you going? Lady. Ring of the Dead. What is the Ring of the Dead? Um. I am not seeing it. Where is it? Ring of the Dead. Ring of the Dead. The wearer of this ring appears human, even when hollow. They say that in the undead crypt, we can reacquaint ourselves with the dead. We all suffer loss, and none of us can escape death. Then what is the fascination with reclaiming that which has already passed in the be into the beyond? Alright. I'm not entirely sure what the purpose of that ring is. But I'll take it. Oh! Fuck, what's that noise? Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Man, don't 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 start singing when I ain't looking at you, lady. I, I got a twitchy hammer finger. Alright, so we've got those three King's Gates to start investigating, but I think before we do those, I kinda wanna go past the looking glass knights area. Because I think I skipped some loot there. I, I tend to do that. I skip loot all over the place on accident. Yeah, usually just because I forget. Um, actually, no, no. That's a. Uh, we just. Okay, no. Um, that's something I can do off camera and just let you guys know what I find if I find anything at all. But we're actually going to go back, 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 back to the beginning. Back all the way to Central Castle Drung Lake. And, uh,. We're going to go all the way to the first King's Gate door we ever found. And see what's going on there, because it's been quite some time since I've been to uh, the old fort. And it has been bugging me through this entire playthrough that I haven't been able to go through any of these goddamn doors. Is it just me, or does... This entire place, for some reason, just feel more eerie than it did before when we like when we were first here. It feels like it's just empty and dead and creepy. I don't know. We got the king's ring on. Let's keep going. I never did get down to those fire lizards. I don't know how the fuck to get down there. But, uh... Oh yeah, you're still here. Hey, yeah. Alright guys, we are finally going to find out what is beyond this door. Ring required ahead. Ring required ahead. Weakness ring. Ah, so you just walk up to it and it opens on its own. What's in here? Oh, there's a bonfire. Alright, let's light the bonfire. Now, why are there so many blood stains in here? Oh! Fuck. Okay. That recloses. Oh, wait a second. Oh, fuck, I know where we are. We saw this place way, way, way in the beginning of the game. Alright. Well, let's jump down. God, I'm just fucking waiting to die. Let's grab this. Oh, two Twinkling Titanites, cool. I'm three away from being able to upgrade my hammer again. How... Is there anywhere to go past here? I took the only uh, way that I saw. No. 
What is the purpose of that bonfire, then? Is there any purpose to it at all? Um... Not seeing anything. Well, shit. Did that really lead to nothing? Or do we go, like, behind that tree up there? I don't feel like running the entire way around, so I'm just gonna use a homeward bone real quick. I'm gonna look a little more closely and see if I can't, like, go behind the tree to get somewhere else. Because I didn't see anywhere else to go. Did that... Yeah, that door closed behind us. Now let's just be wary of hope. Hurrah for dead. Alright. Last, nothing happened. Can't go that way. Oh, shit! I didn't mean to do that. Well, fuck me. Huh. I... I honestly don't think there's anything over here. Can I, like, jump that? Maybe if I had less equipment on. Anything in there? Nothing that I can see. Yeah, there's like nothing to do over here. Alright. Well. Those guys are dead. Um, well, there are still two other gates to go through. The second one we found was the one in the Shaded Woods. So we're gonna go try that one out next. Bandit's knife. Um, oh wait, I need to go this way. I forgot the hole in the wall is on this side, not the other side. Still, yeah, still don't know what to do about those fire lizards. Okay, I'm just gonna use my cestus. I don't know why I'm using my hammer on these guys. But anyway, let's uh, let's get over to the shaded woods real quick. I wonder if I can one shot these like early knights with my cestus. I bet I can. I'd be surprised if I couldn't. Yeah, he's gone. Alright, Shaded Woods. Now, to get to the King's Door in the Shaded Wood... Now oh, there's another one of those dragon signs. Those things are popping up all over the place, and I still have no idea how to, uh... How to join that covenant. Alright, uh, Shaded Wood, Shaded Woods... This one. We want to go to Rune Fork. And this one... Right was the fog. Yeah, right was the fog. Forward. I think forward is where the King's Gate is, because I'm pretty sure left leads to where the, uh, the Lion Clan is. And we never did find the, uh, betrothed of the Scorpitar dude. But... We'll handle that later, if we ever do handle that. I'm still not sure where she is. I'm still not sure how to get through the door in that little cavern over there, either. There's a lot of stuff over there I just don't know about. But let's just take a quick peek and see what's beyond this door. Alright. What are you hiding? What are you hiding back there? Aldia's Keep. Okay. It's a very wide open area. It's a very wide open area. Oh, there's an item over there. Okay, so it's like a small manor house is what this looks like to me. God damn, those doors closing freak me out. Souls and petrified dragon bones. Er are you?
Are these like the jackals back from the uh, beginning of the game? Only like disease now? Oh, fuck! Oh, well, I guess I'm a statue now. Yeah, those are like the jackals back from the very beginning of the game, so I guess just don't hit them and they won't fuck with you? Alright, well, that was, uh, that was my bad. I should have watched more before I swung. Am I, uh, am I still human? Okay, good, yeah, I'm still human. Alright, well... We're gonna go back over to Aldia's Manor and not fuck with the jackals, and we're gonna go, like, um, go inside the house and just search around and find out what's going on there, because I'm getting creepy vibes from it, and that's a good thing. I hope you guys are, too. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the uh, episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you really liked it, please subscribe and make my day, but either way, I hope you guys will show up for the next episode, where we will indeed go into Aldia's Manor and, you know, do a little bit of pokering around. Anyway, I will see all of you guys later. Bye!